Welcome back, my peeps, <laughs> to another FIFA 18 career mode with Borussia Dortmund, who are currently struggling in the Bundesliga and Champions League. But I'm not going to get into that because I'll talk to you guys forever about that. So if you want to check that out, though, go check out my new Football Now episode number 6, which I talk about Bosch and Dortmund's problems and what's happening because I'm getting kind of irritated all that good stuff. And I'll also talk about Tottenham and how they're pretty good. So, hey, let's get back into this right away. So, we just defeated Bayern 2-0. That's right, home dogs. And we did two international games, which is awesome, uh, which is really fun, actually, with Brazil. I upped the difficulty to Legendary, and I was still playing really well, which shows how much I've improved in this game, which I'm very happy and pleased with. So, let us get started with the first match, get this over with. With Stuttgart, but first I have to advance. We already did the player developments before we ended last episode. But we have two things. Isaac wants a chance. Oh. Weigel, oh, Weigel, we got back. Sweet. Glad to have you on board. Thank you, player conversations. David Sutherland. No, 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 sorry. Isaac. Um. I mean, to be fair, you only played one game really well, so I wouldn't say even you've been playing well. Uh, Aubameyang is in blistering form. How about this? How about this? How about I sub him on? Maybe he'll still be okay with that. Because, I mean, it's, he's still playing. I, there's just no way I can fit him in this team. Because look at this. It's stacked. And Guerrero's doing well. Uh, I, and, like... I don't know, man. Weigel's coming back from injury, so we can put Weigel back up here. Guerrero, I'm gonna... Oh, God, this is tough. Um, take off Schurler. Uh, Guerrero, I'll... Yeah, and then Weigel will keep up there. Actually, I think I might ease Weigel back into the starting 11. And then Sancho, I think I might give him a start. Since it's Stuttgart, I don't want to just, like, yeah, you know, you know what I'm saying? Well, no, I'll just sub him in. I'll just sub Sancho in. Zagadou, I'm going to keep playing because Zagadou is outstanding. Uh, so we're going to keep this same team. Um, I found that this is actually pretty nice because, I mean, yeah, we have a center defense move with our last formation, but this is actually a lot better, I think. So we're going to start this game against Stuttgart. So hopefully, like I always say, we can get the win and can keep climbing at the Bundesliga. Since on the legendary, it might be a little more difficult now, which is fine. It's perfectly fine. Uh, so we want to keep the gap uh, as it is or even go higher. So let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Bundesliga day of match day 12. Right? Yeah, I think it's match day 12. So we're go we are going against VFB Stuttgart. And it should be a simple win. Should be. But you never know. So let's get it on. Oh, and there with a delicious ball bombing with a finish. Boom! 1-0. I was so close to getting offside on that too, which I would have been kind of annoyed about because I clicked it and he took a little bit to pass it, but we got it. It was a perfect pass by Insigne with an, another assist. The man is on fire! And he just, he's not stopping, which I love. He can just keep on assisting. And what a beautiful finish by Bombing. He's been kind of missing some shots lately, but he's definitely... He's definitely doing better, so that's good. Front three is clicking, and we are ticking. So let's go. Oh yes, what a through ball by Aubameyang! Oh my god, Philip, just please stop it. You are too good. That is why he's in the starting lineup, because he is just too good. He's so clinical, and the guy has pace, physical, he can defend. The guy's everything you want in a team. He is just so good. And Aubameyang with a beautiful assist. That was like a Kagawa flick right there. I mean, to be fair, he could have saved it because it was kind of to him. He did get a fingertip on it, but goes in and we are up 2-0 before halftime. Oh my god. Oh, oh, and dude, he's just dancing around. Oh my god. He's just dancing around. Him. He's just dancing. Oh, no, I, I, did, I, oh, I put the controller down because I thought I scored. I was just going like, wee, but then <laughs> freaking saved it oh my god oh man what a goal well I mean it was a good strike by Aubameyang but Insigne just dancing around the defenders like that and how would Zyler save that like what 
like I said, I put my controller down because I was like, got it, confident, and then I got that goal. But no, Xyler proved me wrong, and he made a crazy save, so 3-0. Guys, this is just, it's just too good. We are absolutely killing it. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. <laughs> this is legendary, I promise. I promise you it's legendary. And I'm, I'm just playing too well. And I haven't been playing FIFA for a little bit. I think it was off for this, like, a day or two. And I don't know why, but if I take a break from this game, come back to it, I play super well. So I might do that from now on. But, uh, I don't know. Oh, this is too, 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 too good. It's too good. That's halftime, and I have to say, I'm completely dominating this game. I'm, I have not allowed them a single chance. I mean, they have, you'll see they have some shots, but they aren't any good shots at all, I promise you. Like, their one shot was them doing, like, this really bad finesse shot that had zero power. So, I have completely turned this game, and I think what I'm going to do is actually take Insignia out to let him rest, since it's just pretty much game over already. And then also play. Screw it, let's put best in. We're gonna probably put in best because then it gives him some playing time. And plus, like, he's pretty good. I mean, he's alright. Actually, you know, yeah, sure. Tell us now, give him some rest so we can use him in, like, big games. And then Weigel, we could probably put in for Dehood. Just so then Weigel can kind of, like, get some minutes in, you know, after being injured. So there are three subs, Sancho, Beste, or Best, and Weigel. So let's get this second half underway. If we could score some more goals, that would be just delicious. Phillip's going to take it from the range, and he scores. I... Philip, just stop. Just stop. He's too good. He shouldn't be here. He, he needs to go on and find another team. I'm kidding, actually. Don't leave. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna give him a new, um, new contract because this guy deserves it, man. He's the next Marco Royce, as people are labeling him as, and I can see why. Cause the dude's—he's literally playing like Royce. It's insane. So, five nil. <laughs> Game set match. Oh, what a vital block! That would have been four goals for a bombing right there if he didn't save that. Gareth Bale gets his goal of the game with a perfectly placed pass by Guerrero from a corner and lands straight to Bale and he's just like, bruh, kick and goal. So that is what I, oh god, Zagreb fell in there, I didn't see that. Easy as that. It's too easy. Too easy. Oh, Guerrero with his assist of the game for Aubameyang's fourth goal. That's his fourth, right? Fourth or fifth. I, I'm losing count. I We're just scoring goals left and right. It's literally just non-stop goals for us. I mean, what can you say? You can't say much about that. Just a perfectly placed ball right there. You just can't do nothing about that. We are now 7-0. That's his fourth goal, yeah? 7-0. Just, I've lost words. This is just too good. No! Oh my god. They got, they got a consolation goal. Because those B triple X crosses are deadly. Boy, you should be respectful and get the ball. You are down 7 1. Yeah, fruitcake. But it's okay. I mean, it wouldn't be nice to keep playing cheap, but, you know. You really can't keep playing cheap in FIFA 18, so. Um, it's okay. Oh, Berkey, what a save. Now they're starting to try to get goals. As soon as they get one goal, it's like all of a sudden they're like, oh man, we could definitely turn the tide. Down 7 1, pfft, more like 2 1. Let's go, guys. Oh, that's it right there. Crap, I thought that was. Okay. We won, guys. We. <laughs> I was just like, man, I made a foul. Alright, well, game's gonna keep going. Whatever, and nope, that was the end of the game. So we won 7-1, and 
14 shots, 11 on target, 7 goals, and then they actually started getting some shots back near the end because of their one goal. They're just like, oh crap guys, we gotta fight back. So, they got one goal because, you know, FIFA, but also because it was kind of bad defending by me. So we go into the next match, and hopefully, okay, so Bayern, they won 4-0, but where's Schalke? They must play the next day. Oh, player conversation. Oh, crap! Crap, I forgot about Isaac. No! I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm sorry, man. If I can message you back and reply, I would say sorry, man. I completely forgot about you. Now it just actually makes things worse because I forgot about him. But anyways, we're going to go do player developments, as always, so I shall return. Okay, guys, this is the final results for the training. Not the best one, as you can see. Philip got a D. Sancho got a D. Zaga got a D. But then he got a B on dribbling scenarios. And then he all, Sancho got a C on dribble possession. So it wasn't the best one. But at least they're getting their boosts on their overall ratings. Uh, looks like we'll be going into press conferences shortly in the time. Press conference. Oh, it's the Revere Derby. Against Schalke. The garbage. Oh, this is it. Wait, did they win their last game? They did. Guys, this is it. If we win this game, that means we have a bigger lead against Schalke. And against third place and stuff. But if we lose, they close the gap and it's tougher, you know, beyond this. So, let's go into the press conference. Actually, player conversation. I'm relieved, boss. Boss, I can't lie. I was worried that you had plans to replace me. I know. I don't understand. I. What? That's kind of the case. You're being sold to Arsenal. What the heck? What? What? He literally made an agreement with Arsenal, and I'm letting it happen. Whatever. It's fine. You're happy. I'm happy. Yeah, it's fine. Let's do a press conference real quick. I'm not going to parry Shaw Kick because that's just terrible. I'm going to motivate Dorman. I'm going to tell them, hey guys, we can do this. We work together as a team. What's going to work? Teamwork. Okay, so we're going to go with the same lineup. It looks like Zagadou is doing fine. Pereira is doing fine. Tolzian is doing fine. Um, Guedo is going to probably start again. Weigel did do pretty well in his match. Sancho, look at that. He's actually up in form a little bit. So I can bring him on whenever I need him. Uh, best, he did all right that game. He made some good challenges. Uh, won some headers, surprisingly. Castro, look at that. He's an 81 now. He went down because he sucks. I'm sorry. I, I don't want to be harsh against him, but it's like, bruh. Uh, Yarmolenko, you're going to come out for Isaac because I actually do need a striker. And Isaac can actually do that because I've used him before, and he's he's pretty good. Uh, Jacob Rune Larson, I uh, will keep you on reserves. Weidenfeller, no, I'm sorry. I prefer Raymond. Uh, this could be the team. So let's see if we can win the Revere Derby, get bragging rights, and also close the gap between us and Schalke. So let's get it on. Okay, guys, welcome to match day 13 of the uh, Boom Desliga. And we are, like I said, going against Schalke 04. The Revere Derby is about to start, but of course we look like the stronger team, as usual. So let's get her done, and let's try to close this gap. You know what I'm saying? Philip! Oh my god, what a save by Farming. Bale crosses it in. No one's there. We can't do it. Oh, nothing came out of that. A bombing! Oh my god, what a save. Get it in there! Oh my god, saved again by just him standing there looking at it. Berkey! Oh my god! Are you serious? Berkey! Wow! How? Oh my god! Oh my god! How do you do that? Look! How do you miss a catch of the ball? That's super. I am speechless. This is why I want to sell Berkey, because this is what happens. This is so. Oh my god! Wow, their first shot of the game, and we had several that are really nice chances, and of course, Berkey screws us over. Thank you, Berkey. Shoot one of those wonder goals you love. Nope, that is going way wide, and I can't see where that went. Philip, 
Yes, right before halftime. 1-1. One, one, completely deserved. They did not deserve that 1-0 lead because Berkey is an idiot and let it go in. So we thankfully get a goal before halftime. That will help us a lot. Because they were just defending this whole time. Just throwing bodies back in their own half. Trying to just block every shot I had. And we finally get through. Oh my god, that was so stupid. Berkey has made this game even harder for us. But now it's a bit easier thanks to Philip. So we gotta just keep on going. And it's halftime, just like that. Holy crap. Okay, so I don't want to change anything to the lineup because it's fine. It's just. Just Berkey! Completely ruined this game for us right now. It's just so much harder. But I might have to actually take people out because they're getting tired already. Like Philip, he's getting pretty tired. So what I might do is play Sancho as a cam, rest Philip, and then let's see how everybody else is doing. Zagadu is doing fine. Barge is fine. Everybody else is doing all right now with stamina. If I have to, I'll bring on Isaac and then put Sancho up wide. But for now, I'll put him as a cam. Bring some more pace to the midfield. So we'll go on from here, my dudes and dudettes. So let's get it on. Aubameyang, please get it in there. Yes! Aubameyang nails it in the coffin. And I think we got it, guys. I think we have the win right there. I shouldn't say that, actually. That's not good. I jinxed myself a lot. That's not good. Okay, I want to make sure I keep myself, uh, you know, um, not stupid. No, for keep myself from not being stupid and play better. I meant to put Weigel in. It's okay. We're okay. I know I could just pause it, but I think we'll be fine. Bail! Oh my God! What a save! What a save by Farman. That could have been 3-1 for us. Boom! <gasps> Farman is... Oh my god. He's insane. That could have been 3-1. Again. Wow. Farman made some crazy freaking saves. Wow. Wow. Farman was incredible. Jesus. Saved their lives. Like... A numerous amount of times and Berkey saved our life like what twice maybe Jesus what a game though Sancho played really well so now we are really far ahead in, in the Bundesliga which is awesome I mean geez look at that now almost a 10 point gap holy crap guys we are going crazy right now now we're gonna do some player developments. Excuse me. So let's get this started. Okay guys, so as you see, I kinda trained Zagadu a little more this time instead of Sancho, but, okay, well, sadly, Philip got another D, which is not good. Uh, he hasn't been doing too well in training, but Sancho got a B, so he's literally that close to being a 68. Zagadu is a 67 now. He did get an F on his dribble possession, but it's, I mean, it's okay because it was a pretty hard one to do. Um, and then he got two Bs, which is good. I'm trying to work on his passing a little more, so then, you know, he can be more of a person he could play out the back, you know? So he's a little better at that. So we'll get away from there, and we will advance time. And it's so nice to see us going away from that far from Schalke and Leverkusen. Like, 10-point lead against Leverkusen. 11 point lead against Cologne. I mean, we are killing. Oh my god, and look at that Leverkusen. Whoo! Ah, man, this. I mean, this stays with the schedule, of course, that's gonna happen in real life, so I'm actually kinda scared in real life because I think we're gonna get completely destroyed by Schalke um, and Leverkusen just because of how we've been playing recently. And look at that, Philip with another player of the month. Oh, is that, is that the same or is that possibly just the one before player of the month new okay so yeah he got player of the month once again he got I think that's like three in a row I mean dude the
the guy is just amazing. So we're going to get right into this next match for the final match of the episode. So let's see if we can even further the gap more. We'll see. Okay, guys, welcome to match day 14 in the Bundesliga. We are going against Bayer Leverkusen at their beautiful Bay Arena Stadium, which is really nice. Like, it's actually a very nice stadium. And we're going against Lars Bender, Sven Bender, the Bender Bros, which I dearly miss Sven Bender because he was a god. And he saved us uh, against Bayern with that beautiful toe flick of the far post, which I'm just like, bruh, how did he do that? Man of the match card, where is it? But we're going to go on and look at this. Look at that. Look at that. We're killing it. So we're going to keep going on with this, hopefully extending this record we have being away uh, in the Bundesliga and hopefully it's not you know as easy as it was against Schalke because Schalke was kind of simple so and hopefully Berkey doesn't make any mistakes that'd be great so let's get it on boom oh my god what a beautiful cross by Toljan holy oh, oh, give me shivers Gave me shivers for this one. Holy crap. That was a beautiful cross. I mean, I saw the run from a mile away. I knew it was going to happen. So I just was like, bro, I got to take this cross real quick. And he did exactly what I wanted. And bombing me and just like, whoop. Bullet. He flew. He flew. There's no way he could save that. Who was the goalkeeper? What happened to Leno? Where'd he go? Oh, okay. Well, 1 0. We got to keep it up, y'all. No, keep it up. Dude, yes, we have to be clinical in these games. We have to be, or else we're not gonna win them. And that's exactly what we're gonna be doing because we are two 0 up now. Because the Hood, which I thought honestly was gonna sky it, because I mean he can't really shoot that well. I thought he was gonna sky it, and he made it just look too easy. And Philip with the assist, the Hood with a beautiful goal. It's going good for us, guys. Everything's going our way at the moment. And if we keep it that way, we're going to be winning this game in no time. Oh! I mean, I had a feeling it wasn't going to go in, but that was kind of a scary shot. So, I mean, Berkey had that far post covered. So I think uh, it would be okay anyways. A bomb yank from range! That would have been a beaut, a banger. Beautiful. But it's halftime, guys, and we are completely dominating the game, as usual. I mean, well, okay, well, I shouldn't say dominating. I mean, it's only three shots. But it's been like a back-and-forth game, kind of like the Bayern game a little bit. Uh, Bayern Leverkusen are winning a lot of tackles in the midfield and a lot of tackles in their side of the field uh, in, their, in their box. So they are doing pretty well defending. I'm going to take out Philip again because he is looking pretty down on stamina. So Sancho's going to take his place once again because he's doing really well in that spot. Uh, last game he was doing very well. So I'm going to keep the same lineup. Not going to change anything else after that. But I might take out Bale and then put Isaac as a cam. The whole thing I was going to do last time and then put Sancho out wide. So it's like the main kind of idea. The whole, I guess... Uh, solution to anybody who has low fitness up front so we're gonna continue on and hopefully kill it in the second half you know what I'm saying oh Sancho get your first goal Sancho Sancho no is it Sancho please yes it is yes, it is it is it is I thought he had the ha hair of uh, the hood and I'm like oh no it was the hood but it was Sancho with his very first goal for Dortmund oh yes what a proud moment. It's like being a proud father. And it was such a nice finish, too. Side netting. Oh, I'm so proud of you, Sancho. So proud of you. Such a great guy. Look at that. What a finish. Sancho now has scored for us. I think he already did. Maybe he was in the Pokal game. But still, great goal. Not going to take anything away from it. So GG. Well, alrighty, they have one back from Brant. I think that is Brant, and it is Brant. So they, now it's 3-1. That was a good finish, I gotta say. Didn't think he was gonna score that, so 
Now we're back to the drawing board. Okay, we can go number two. Goal number two for Sancho. He's killing it this game. He comes on the camp. He's just he's boop, 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 boop. Team goes grrr. He is absolutely destroying this game right now. He is picking apart Leverkusen like a pickle. He's just picking him up. Oh. oh my god. Just dude. Amazing. Um, I'm I don't know how they didn't read that. It's legendary, come on. Come on now. Come on. Wow! <laughs> that was like Deli Alley's goal against Madrid, kind of. How he just kind of bounced in there, except, like, he definitely could have saved that. But he was just like, wait, what do I do? I don't know, it's kind of, kind of high. Oh, no, oh, and in. Oh, man. I mean, I think the original strike would have possibly went in or just kind of grazed the post. But that is just silly, and I don't know how he didn't save it. That's beyond me, but hey, it's a goal. I'm happy with the Aguero scored. So we are up 5-1 now, and it's just too easy, guys. It literally is just too easy. There it is, guys. We are now three points higher. So we are now 14 points ahead. No, I think we were 10. So we are, we're 13 points ahead of... Leverkusen now and hopefully we were even more ahead of Schalke because that would be awesome as always awesome 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 We won 5-1 Shots were pretty even they had some all right shots some good chances But they weren't as good as ours and we took our chances. So that's why we got the five goals uh, in the end so we advanced through the games and it doesn't show but we'll see in the table as soon as we get back uh, what actually happened. And as you see, Schalke lost. Woohoo! So now we have an 11 point lead over second place and third place, and a 13 point lead ahead of fourth place. And we have a 15, sorry, 14 point lead over Bayern. And Aubameyang is now top scorer. Philip right underneath Bale with seven. Because he hasn't really scored. He only scored one goal these uh, past three games. So what we're going to do now is advance and stop it. Okay, never mind. There we go. Okay, stop it. Stop it. Did you stop? Okay. This thing is glitching on me. There we go. Okay. So if we're going to go to the office real quick. Great work. Just wanted to thank you for helping the club reach one of its brand exposure goals. We set for accomplished this season. We wanted to earn at least 200 million euros from shirt sales this season and we couldn't have done it without you keep up the good work the board of directors bruh nice i wasn't actually paying attention to that but i think we were pretty close by the time like last time i saw it so now our new objective or actually was the objective of four was to win the bundesliga so that's what we're going to do i promise you that and we're going to do player developments before we end the episode so let's get into it okay guys these are the results of this training we only have one d with sancho first time strike but he's a b through, through the gates which is a hard one which is gold that's good he's a 68 overall now and then zagudu just climbed almost a 68 because he had two a's and a c so he did really well in the training so we'll click advance go through and then we will advance through this simulation real quick and then we will end oh hoffenheim lost an average of injury uh oh Okay, so now we know that we're going against Werder Bremen in our next game. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of uh, the Dortmund Curry mode. We are climbing the Bundesliga like crazy. Uh, wait a minute, what happened here? Oh, okay, Schalke won their game. We've already been spoiled that. So Schalke and Hoffenheim both won their game. So now it's up to us to hopefully win this next game against Werder Bremen. So we can, of course, keep the lead and not lose any points to uh, you know lower that gap we have. So thank you for watching. If you guys did like this episode, please leave a like. I would be happier than an egg not being fried. You know what I'm saying? You understand what that means? I don't. So thank you. Subscribe if you are new. Peace.